Marry a two in secret. I gotta make a video. Like, here's the playbook to become a red pill coach. Tell everyone that girls are horrible. Okay, show zero receipts, show zero infield. Cross promote all the other scammer red pill coaches that do the same thing, aka show no proof and hate on women. Then go in secret and do everything against what you're preaching, aka don't get married, don't let the women wear the pants in the relationship, don't marry women over, or don't get involved with women over the wall, don't get involved with single mothers. Go marry a single mother over 40 that looks like shit, okay? And then do it in secret. And then go make fucking three or four hour uh, super chat live streams every single day. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. I have an optimized system. If you guys want to plug into that and start getting extremely good results with the ladies that are permanent and that will be with you for the rest of your life, jump on a free 30 minute call with the link in the description. We'll go over all the details, how we can fix all your problems in the game and get you to all your goals in the game very quick. All right, so let's jump in here. Right? <laughs> hit up girls and we don't pay a cent and go with them, we get it for free. So, that being said, she told me, hey, I was on Seeking, and I said, bet, I go in there anyway, talk to chicks. We okay, hold on, that's a lie. There's endless lies. These guys have been caught in like a hundred lies. That's why it's so dumb even making videos on them. But, you know, whatever. The internet wants it. 300 bands! Uh, you just saw Walter and the fucking dumb girl together saying, oh yeah, we met on Seeking. We met on the Sugar Baby site. Now, here they're saying that they that he found out after they met. Okay, so now the story has changed. We met on Seeking. Yeah, so we, we met on there. We definitely uh, spoke. Yeah, they both just said they met on Seeking. And then to the other dude, he says, oh, we I found out she was on the site after. Isn't that convenient? It makes him look better. And then I got Instagram. She told you, she ain't tell you on a yacht, nigga. Nigga, we went on multiple days after the yacht. She's like, yo, I gotta be honest with you. Right? Because I don't wanna mess up anything in the future. Most girls, you mean, bro, are on something, bro. They might not tell you. At least she shortly told me, bro. Like, the fact she told me, I was like, but you know what? I respect that shit. If you, if I find out guys are paying you for, to, to smash, mm -hmm. that right there is a, is a red flag for me. But what the fuck is she doing on there? <laughs> oh, this is so dumb. It's, it's like, Look at the objective facts, everyone. Use 1% of your, your brain power here. The girl has an endless stream of cash apps. Okay, let's, we'll post this, the fucking screenshot of that. 400, 400, 400, 200, 200, 200. The, <laughs> what's that? Okay, college textbooks. Okay, then we have, uh, <laughs> this, is, this is fucking retarded. I can't even keep all the, the nonsense straight. Then she has a joint profile with an Asian girl on Thanksgiving. Who's going to invite us over to Thanksgiving? Okay, who's going to stuff our turkeys? <laughs> who's going to fucking bust their nuts in our turkey? Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Let's just keep... This is fucking retarded. This is like a waste of time. Okay, so... 100%, bro. I don't know what you're doing on there. I mean Walter's IQ is like rock bottom. This is It's like hard to even listen to him. Hey, somebody needs some money. I don't know what's going on there, bro. <laughs> it was. I don't know what's going on here, bro. This shorty needs some money. It's a no cap. It sounds like fucking like uh, like one of those cartoons, like King of the Hill, like Boomhauer, where he's like, oh, hey, man, facts. You know, you know what I'm saying? Facts, bro. But man, they got another one, man. What do you? What are you going difference between them? They know. Red flag when. You found out she's on seeking arrangements and she decided to come link with you only when you were on the yacht. <laughs> He's like, put two and two together, you stupid fucking retard. And Walter's like, no, 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 bro, you don't understand. Talking one on one with Grant Cardone. <laughs> this water can or cannot be good for you. We got to roll the clip this time because I forgot it last time. Uh, this water here is very good for you. Has a lot of nutrients in it as well. However, at the same time, this water can be or not be important to you. You know anything about bees? <laughs> no, 100% not. Bro, in Miami, <laughs> almost every girl you see that's, that's good looking, bro, is on sugar site. 
I thought she was different than all the other girls. That she hasn't been tainted yet. But now she's doing whatever other Miami girl's doing. Okay. So, my honest to God, true body count, bro. No cap. You ready for it? It's over a thousand. <laughs> oh, more vacuous claims. Okay, just like Walters twenty, just like fucking Walters a rising music star. Okay, he was saying fifteen hundred. Now the lies changed to over a thousand. Incredibly insulting to a guy that's actually banged over a thousand girls. Okay, I hit a thousand December twenty eighteen. Uh, let's put up my lay count graph again. These are real fucking results. More proof than the entire wrestling industry combined. And then you have a dumb fuck trying to claim the same shit. You know who else pulled this? This was very interesting. Around the time I hit like, I was at like 870 or something like this, I remember, okay? Owen Cook publicly announced his lay count, okay? Which man whore, the old coach for behind the scenes for RSD, told me, he's like, RSD Tyler Owen is only like 50 lay count. It's one of RSD's best kept secrets, etc. Around the time I was around like 870, Owen Cook put out a video where he's like, yeah, I've been with like eight or 900 girls. And all these people email me or message me and they're like, dude, like Owen's neck and neck with you. And I'm like, use your fucking head, okay? I put out countless videos about his game, how his game fucking blows, how about how women are repulsed by him, etc. He's just ripping off a real player's count, okay? Isn't it convenient? That's right where I happen to be. And then, oh yeah, so is Owen Cook. Bullshit, okay? Walter's doing the same shit. Oh, what sounds cool? Quadruple digits. I would be incredibly, incredibly shocked if Walter has even hit triple digits. If he's even hit 100, girl. I'd be incredibly astounded. All the next best guys I know after myself in the game are between like 400 and 600 lay count right now. This fucking stuttering nobody who was working for Wix.com less than a year ago, according to his LinkedIn. We'll put up that fucking screenshot. Is at 1,000 girls. Okay, but don't forget, before that, it was 1,500 girls. Just nice round numbers. And don't forget, it was 1,500 a year, not just in a lifetime. They go to like these extremes. I've noticed when they put out these fake press releases. Yeah, Walter's a 20-year-old rising music star. That means he can't even drink legally. Obviously, he's over 30. That's one of a million lies they've told. Okay, Now he's trying to be cool again. Oh, I've, I've been with a 1,000 bodies. Look at the look on his face. What do you think about that lie? Just saying no cap, which is a fucking retarded phrase anyways before one of your big lies doesn't make it true or any more believable you stupid fucking idiot okay and just listening to any of their dating advice as a real expert for more than a couple minutes you can tell they have no fucking clue what they're talking about and jay vincent said the same about their fucking music or their fitness <laughs> their music advice yeah ask some pro rapper what they think about walter weeks's music it's just a front to gain more fucking popularity he has no fucking music abilities it's all this this is all so dumb it's this is just like a like a runaway freight train of, of nonsense on the internet and then look look at these fucking idiots if she ain't guessed 1000 so well andrelius prime right this dude's probably <laughs> yeah not even gonna go into what what what's probably going on in the lives of his devote followers okay Let's continue the nonsense. I'm dead ass serious. I remember I told you, right? I told you about in Barbados when. So basically, guys, I'm gonna break it down for you, right? So doing live right now. So in Barbados, right? I can tell you before. <laughs> His followers are all saying he's lying. There's a whole culture. Of, of course he's fucking lying. He's he's been caught lying about a hundred things. Keep watching his videos. Okay, keep fucking fueling the nonsense, everyone. Of women coming from UK, coming from like, <laughs> you know. Of uh, Italy. Beta. Because the way you talk about women, especially because you're in Miami, mm -hmm. you just proved that saying that if she's here and she's new, those rules don't apply. You don't talk to just a Miami audience. You talk to an audience that's literally all around the world. Mm -hmm. So you're pretty much telling your audience, everything I tell you doesn't apply to y'all because you're not in Miami. <laughs> this dude's pretty cool. He like, he, <laughs> these girls, they're like, are we getting paid yet? We're hungry. And this dude, no, but this dude is just like dropping basic common sense. He's like, yeah, why are you making everything a microcosm of Miami when your fucking YouTube audience is worldwide, okay? Uh, the, the better question is why are people still fucking associating with this idiot 
when he's been caught lying about endless things, okay? And I know the reason for that. It's, just, it's the reason why a lot of people go on his podcast or why a lot of people have them on, on their podcast, like Adam22, no jumper. He knows they're scammers. That's confirmed. That's a fact, okay? I know that from behind the scenes. Yet he has them on his podcast repeatedly anyways. Why? Because they draw views, okay? Which is called being a sellout piece of shit bitch, okay? That's Adam22, Okay, who gives a fuck how big his channel is? He's a sellout piece of shit bitch. Okay. And anyone I think that is associating with these guys, I you know, I, I won't I won't say too much further than that, but it's very obvious, okay, that this isn't some it's not it's not, there's objective facts here, endless objective facts that these guys are massive scammers, okay? And the and the evidence keeps mounting by the day. <laughs> we'll continue for political reasons here. I thought you were giving universal rules. That's hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're, we're hold talking on. about her. I got right you. Now. No, no, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm, I'm talking about how you are saying she doesn't apply to many things that you would say about the normal. Because not everybody that follows them are from Miami. That's my point. This yeah. advice doesn't apply to everybody, yeah. right? Because they live in that place where you've been in Miami. It's a weird spot. It's going to warp your <laughs> view of ladies, right? Sure. Oh, yeah, they're all on sugar babies. It's like they're all just selling their pussy. Bro, that's, that's what happens where you live specifically. <clears throat> as far as the whole incident, personally, me personally, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I don't think it's that important. I do think it's more evidence of what we already know about Fresh, which is one, he's a liar. Okay. There we go. That's, that's, what, that's the fucking point, okay? It's more evidence of what we already know. He's a massive fucking liar. He has no skills. It's a scam platform, etc. Okay, exactly. He needs. He's a fraudulent person. Yep. Right. Claims to have this body count to sell his courses. Claims to have met her and then went on dates. Then found out she's on the sugar baby site. Then when it comes out that she's on seeking arrangements, then he actually makes a live stream where he's like, "No, we met on seeking." Like everything is smoke and mirrors. Yep. Exactly. But people fall for it hook, line, and sinker. And if you're that fucking dumb to fall for a guy that's that fucking dumb, then you deserve what you get. Right? Which is fine. At the end of the day, if you want to sell an image and you got to lie to do it, do it. Okay? But as far as um, you, yeah, you, you're, you're definitely simping. Yeah. I do that. <laughs> the fucking line of cash apps. Yeah, but don't go to these guys for real dating or fitness advice. If you like watching reality TV trash shows like Jerry Springer, knock yourself out. Waste your life away. You guys know, and I think we all know this. If these two guys were hearing this story from any other man about him being involved with that woman, what would they call the dude? Straight up. Straight up. Blue pill, beta, all the other lame ass terms that they got. Once it's one of them. Straight up. It's fine. You shouldn't date a girl like that. But you know, she did. And that's what you see a lot of from Red Pill coaches. They're going to sell you on all these false ideas, right? They'll say, never get married, never get married. Half of them are married. <laughs> Half of them are yeah. We'll put up one more. The, my, the ugly wives and girlfriends of, of dating coaches here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's much worse than you guys think. These, these self-proclaimed dating gurus and, and experts with women that shows zero receipts, that shows zero pictures of them with girls. Yeah, watch my video on who they married. Objectively below average, very below average in lots of cases. Girls that are literally twos, that are literally threes, okay? Bottom of the barrel trash. Like, it, it's as if they would have had to go out of their way to find one of the ugliest girls possible to make that their wife, okay? Because their game fucking is non-existent. Their game fucking blows, okay? That is why. The girl won't even kiss him on the cheek, even though he's fucking bringing her on yachts and, and most likely paying her. Okay, that is why. Okay, so you can keep following all that fucking nonsense, bullshit, trash, or you can get a real solution. Jump on a free 30 minute call. Let me fucking pack your schedule up with lots of dates, give you endless amounts of matches and phone numbers, and a steady supply of hookups that you're getting through strategy and tactics, not through fucking nonsense, theoretical, abstract bullshit. Okay. Hey. They'll tell you marriage is a trap. Marriage is a trap. They get married. Nope. One of them even had the audacity to say, "Like I don't know. I just we just eloped. It just happened." What? That's just you. You spent years screaming about marriage and how terrible it is, and that you would never do it, and you just happen to get married. 
Yeah, the, those red pill coaches are all hypocritical as fuck. That's why I've attacked all of them relentlessly. Mm-hmm. What? Then you're gonna go around and call <laughs> ladies silly and stupid when they dance on single ladies by Beyonce when she's married to fucking Jay Z. But look at you doing the same thing. That's it, man. It's all smoke and mirrors. But even the fans know that. Listen, listen. I, if there's one thing I can say about the Freshly Fit fan base is that they all know that. Yeah, because whenever he says something. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're all in the comments like, nigga, we know you don't get any. So I'm going to say they're not stupid. <laughs> Why are they watching that? Why would you watch a guy that's openly fabricating tons of stories? Because they kick out trashy girls from a live podcast? Is that really what our world has come to? Oh, yeah, we, uh, we're aware that all this is fake and all fabricated, but uh, we like the, the fake drama. Okay. Okay. I think they're really there for the entertainment. But I'm like, why do you need to lie to them? Yeah. She, you, she, <laughs> rough. You ask her on multiple dates, she never shows up. Then you're like, yo, come on a yacht, and she shows up. Yeah. She's not materialistic. She's not. <laughs> not, not. Her dream car is a Civic. Yo, listen, and anybody fine, buying and, this and fine And fine dining. Yeah, and fine dining. And getting cash after a bunch of money by dudes who apparently don't want anything in return. Okay, bro. You don't get the fuck out of here. Okay. <laughs> that being said. But anyways, <laughs> let us know what you guys think in the comments below. What do you guys think about these red pill dating? <laughs> these red pill dating coaches are fucking trash. Okay, zero receipts, rule zero crew. Zero receipts, zero infield, zero fucking solid testimonial success. Marry a two in secret. I gotta make a video. Like, here's the playbook to become a red pill coach. Tell everyone that girls are horrible. Okay, show zero receipts, show zero infield. Cross promote all the other scammer red pill coaches that do the same thing, aka show no proof and hate on women. Then go in secret and do everything against what you're preaching. AKA don't get married, don't let the women wear the pants in the relationship, don't marry women over, or don't get involved with women over the wall, don't get involved with single mothers. Go marry a single mother over 40 that looks like shit, okay? And then do it in secret. And then go make fucking three or four hour uh, super chat live streams every single day, okay? And then, you know, and oh, oh, don't forget to fucking spread false information about me because I'm going to call your asses out every fucking time. 300 bands! That's our world. That's our community. Okay, it's gone from from Owen Cook, the little balding redhead retard, to Rolo and and, and crew, fresh and fit. That's the the new kings of the throne. Okay, it's a, it's fun watching all this as a real coach. If you want to get very good very fast, I can help you starting this week. Jump on a free thirty minute call. Please subscribe below if you have not already. Press the notification bell for new videos every day at two p.m. Eastern. And please like, comment, and share. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments. And if you haven't seen part one yet, check that out in the end screen. Thank you, guys. It's been a, a great use of time here. I'll see everyone on a new video soon. Take care. And Jay don't stand in line. I ain't never had to wait. I'm the realest in this game. I ain't never had to fake. Just take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models. And you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor, I'm a boss tycoon My dick smell like two chicks before noon